Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about short run and long run equilibrium and how price and output determine under monopolistic competition. So what is monopolistic competition? Monopolistic competition is a market situation where so many sellers are selling similar but differentiated product. Monopolistic competition is a market situation where so many sellers are selling similar but differentiated product. In case of monopolistic competition, uses of each seller product is same but quality and features are different. As we know, there are so many companies who sell shampoo uh, like Clinic Plus, Sun Silk and L'Oreal. Use of each company shampoo is same. As we know, we use shampoo for washing our hair but quality and features of each company shampoo is different from other. Uh, some are anti-hair for shampoo, uh, some are anti-dandruff shampoo. Means quality and features of Clinic Plus is different from Sun Silk and quality and features of uh, Sun Silk different from L'Oreal. So we can say that monopolistic competition is a market situation where so many sellers are selling similar but differentiated product. Now we are going to talk about equilibrium under monopolistic competition. In order to get equilibrium in all markets, two conditions must be satisfied. First condition is MR equal to MC. MR is marginal revenue, MC is marginal cost. So first condition is marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. Second condition is MC cut MR from below, means marginal cost curve cut marginal revenue curve from below. In this diagram, we can see on x-axis we have output and y-axis we have price, cost and revenue. This MR is marginal revenue curve. This AR is average revenue curve. This MC is marginal cost curve. E is our equilibrium point. At this E point, our two conditions are fulfilled. You can see at this E point, MC is equal to MR plus marginal cost curve cutting and marginal revenue curve from below. So, E is our equilibrium point. And our equilibrium output is OQ and equilibrium price is O. P. Now we are going to talk about short run equilibrium and price and output determined under monopolistic competition. At short time period, firm basically have three kind of equilibrium. Super normal profit, normal profit and loss. One by one we discuss about each. So firstly we are going to talk about super normal profit. A firm gets super normal profit when AR is more than AC. AR is average revenue, AC is average cost. A firm gets super normal profit when average revenue is more than average cost. So now we will see super normal profit with the help of this diagram. First of all, we need to make same equilibrium diagram as we earlier discussed. So for knowing super normal profit, we need AR and AC. Here AR we already have. AR is our average revenue curve. Now we need to draw average cost curve. So we will draw average cost curve below from average revenue curve. Because in case of super normal profit, average revenue is more than average cost. That's why we need to draw average cost curve below from average revenue curve. So this is our average cost curve. We will join this line. You can see our average revenue is RQ because this R point touch our average revenue curve. And our average cost is TQ. This T point touch our average cost curve. And we can calculate profit when we minus average cost from average revenue. So our average revenue is RQ and average cost is TQ. RQ minus TQ is RT. This gap RT is our profit. So we can say that this rectangle RT KP is our super normal profit. This is our super normal profit. Normal profit. Now we are going to talk about normal profit. A firm get normal profit when AR is equal to AC. Or we can say that a firm get normal profit when average revenue is equal to average cost. In this diagram, we can see on x-axis we have output. And y-axis we have revenue, cost and price. This MR is marginal revenue curve. This AR is average revenue curve. This AC is average cost curve. This MC is marginal cost curve. And E is our equilibrium point. You can see here, RQ is our average revenue. 
and RQ also is our average cost because this R point touch both average cost curve as well as average revenue curve. So we can say that at this R point our average revenue is equal to average cost and this is our normal profit point. Now we are going to talk about loss. A firm get loss when AC is more than AR. Or we can say that a firm get loss when average cost is more than average revenue. Now we will see loss with the help of this diagram. First of all, we need to make same equilibrium diagram as we earlier discussed. So, for knowing loss, we need AC and AR. We already have AR, means we already have average revenue curve. We need to draw average cost curve. And we will draw average cost curve above from average revenue curve. Because in case of loss, average cost is more than average revenue. That's why we need to draw average cost curve above from average revenue curve. We will draw our average cost curve here. This is our average cost curve. We will join this line. You can see here, TQ is our average cost because this T point touch our average cost curve. And RQ is our average revenue. This R point touch our average revenue curve. And we can calculate loss when we minus average revenue from average cost. Our average cost is TQ. Average revenue is RQ. TQ minus RQ is equal to TR. This gap, TR is our loss. Or we can say that this rectangle T, R, P, K is our loss. This is our loss. Now we are going to talk about long run equilibrium and how price and output determine in a monopolistic competition. At short time period, it can be possible firm get super normal profit, normal profit or loss as we earlier discussed. But at long time period under monopolistic competition, all firm will get normal profit. At long time period under monopolistic competition, all firm will get normal profit. But why all firm will get normal profit? As we know at long time period under monopolistic competition, any firm can enter in the market or any firm can exit from the market. Uh, suppose uh, at short time period, all firm are getting super normal profit. To see their super normal profit at long time period, more firm will enter in the market because they also want to earn more profit. As more firm enter in the market, their profit will divide. As a result, all firm will come from super normal profit to normal profit. On the other hand, suppose uh, at short time period, all firm are getting loss. Due to loss, some firm will exit from the market. As some firm will exit from the market, profit of remaining firm will increase. As a result, all firm come from loss to normal profit. So we can say that at long time period, under monopolistic competition, all firm will get normal profit. As we know, at long time period, under monopolistic competition, all firm get normal profit. Now we will see diagram of normal profit at long time period. Firm get normal profit when AR is equal to AC. Or we can say that a firm get normal profit when average revenue is equal to average cost. In this diagram you can see on X axis we have output and Y axis we have price, cost and revenue. MR is margin revenue curve, AR is average revenue curve. LAC is long run average cost curve, LMC is long run marginal cost, E is our equilibrium point. You can see here RQ is our average revenue and RQ is also our average cost because this R point touch both average revenue curve as well as average cost curve. So at this R point our average revenue is equal to average cost. This is called our normal profit point. This is all about short run and long run equilibrium and how price and output determine at a monopolistic competition. I think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.